Okay, so this is what I keep my starter in. It's just a nice mason jar. And I, I like having this lid. I used to use um, coffee filters, but it would get too crusty on top. And then I remembered that I had these. And they're great. I just leave it placed on top, and that way it can still burp and let the air out. I don't actually screw it on. So, if you can come on top. This is what it looks like. It's been a couple of days since I fed it. Um, it looks kind of gross, but that's normal. So, what I do before I feed it is I'll just scoop this top part off. Slap it over here. This is actually quite runny. It's been sitting in for a couple days. I'll just put that in the compost and then you can see it's pretty runny. So um, basically what you want to do, you can take some of this out if you want, but I'm going to be using a bunch of it tomorrow, so I don't want to get rid of it. Um, so I'm going to take just a couple of tablespoons of whole wheat flour. I never measure this. Um, and then I want it to be the texture of um, like a natural peanut butter. So I just add enough water to make it that texture. I don't like measuring things if I don't have to. So I just do it until it looks right and it feels right. This is still a bit just a bit too thick so just a little bit more water and if you add too much water it's not a big deal you can just add more flour but this feels right to me you can see how thick it is hopefully and then you just make sure you stir it up really good no chunks of flour and then that's it now you just let it um, ferment. I, If you want, you can put an elastic or something on the side and raise it up just so you can see how much it's risen. Um, it's about at the level where it's at right now. And then you just place your lid on. You don't want to screw it on because you need the um, air to come out. And then, I don't know. I'm going to let this ferment overnight and use it in the morning. So. If it's fallen a bit, that's okay, but that's how you feed your starter. So it has been probably about 14 hours since I fed it. So you can see that it has risen a lot. This is the level it was at when it was mixed and um, freshly fed. So now it's risen all the way to the top. You can see a line and now it's sunken down. and from what I understand, the sourdough experts would probably not be happy with me for saying this, but I think this is perfectly fine to use. Um, it's freshly fed. It's not at its peak, but in my experience, you don't, it doesn't make a difference. So even if it had risen all the way to the top and fallen back down again to here, it's still perfectly fine to use. Um, that way you don't have to worry about the timing of things as much with feeding your starter. So. That's what it looks like when it's healthy and fed. You can see all the bubbles in there. It's happy. It's perfect to use.